So we're at the Rally for Media Reform here in London. Uh, I'm speaking here to Jackie Hunt, who's just come off the platform having addressed the conference. She's the director of uh, Equality Now. She's been, uh, she's a, a lawyer and a rights campaigner. And she's been talking about things such as the objectification in the media of uh, young women. Um, Jackie, tell us about um, your concerns with the British media. We have concerns that women aren't being represented properly in the press. We feel that the stories of violence against women aren't really, don't really go into the right kind of detail, don't ask the right kind of questions, and often blame women victims for the violence that happens against them. So we're asking for there to be a, a better case studies and better way that journalists treat that, that they dig more under the surface, that they understand more the issues. Because we've heard that women aren't coming forward when violence is happening to them if they feel they're not going to be believed, and that's because of some stereotypes of, of how they behaved or shouldn't be or didn't behave, um, maybe it has affected their case. And uh, why is it, do you think, that the, the media is so bad? I mean, some of the cases you, you gave in there were pretty eye-stretching. Wh what is it about the British media that means that they're portraying women this way? I think a lot of it is that there's a lot of pressure on time, so journalists don't have time, but I also think that a, a lot of journalists don't take the time. And, um, and that there are stereotypes in society that they're reinforcing maybe and, and normalizing as well. So it becomes a vicious circle. And um, what about the number of women who are writing in the media or on uh, doing investigative work on television or on radio? Yes, I think there should be many more. I know a lot of people have said to me they don't see a lot of women in the media. They don't see women as commentators, as experts, as journalists. And they would like to see more women and more diverse women. We very rarely see older women, women with disabilities, um, minority ethnic women. It's just very difficult to see different types of women with different kinds of experiences. So that's not being reflected back to us, really, what, what our interests are and the, and the broad diversity of views out there. And one last question. You, you referred there to a 14-year-old girl who'd written to the Sun newspaper about page three girls. Tell us a little bit about that and, and the reaction she got. She feels devalued by the page three pictures. She says it's equally, it, it's open in the press, it, sorry, it's open in news agents that anyone can buy it, that she feels that she's worth more than, the, the, that her portrayal, it comes through this woman, that she's worth more than, than, than body parts. She has a mind, she has aspirations, but there's a lot of pressure on her then to feel pretty, to, to stay young, maybe to have plastic surgery. She's already feeling that pressure to look a certain way and, and be a certain person. And she felt, she said, am I just worth 20p? Is this, is this all that I'm worth? And, and she was very disturbed by that. And in fact, a final, final question, just very briefly. Um, there's a lot of talk about media reform. What do you want to see and what do you believe is possible out of all this? We believe very strongly in press freedom, but we do believe there should be stronger regulation to make sure that there's a professional code. And it needs to be an independent body. There needs to be enforcement with strong sanctions. That there should be complaints not just from individuals, but maybe groups of women. If there is systematic, serious discrimination against women in the press, that there are case studies on violence, that there's training, more of journalists, that anything that wouldn't pass the pre-watershed in broadcast media is also not available in, in regular newspapers. Jackie, thank you very much indeed for your time. So this is Patrick Chalmers with Vision on TV.